Hello, welcome to Teach and Learn's Homework Helper. Today we're going to be talking about area and perimeter. We're going to be talking about the area and perimeter of three different shapes, a square, a rectangle, and a triangle. The formula for the area of a square is side squared. So say we have a length of a side length of 7, you're just going to square 7 to get the area, which is 49. The, air, the, per, the formula for the perimeter of a square is side times 4, because there are four sides and they're all congruent. So you're going to times 4 by 7, and you're going to get the perimeter is 28. So say we have a rectangle the, with a length of 7 and a, and a width of te, uh, 10, or a length of 10 with a 7. The formula for an area of a rectangle is length times width. So you're going to multiply 7 and 10 to get 70. The formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is 2LH plus 2W, uh, sorry, 2L plus 2W. So 2 times 10 plus 2 times 7, and you're going to get 20 plus 14, which is equal to 34. Remember that when you do area, your units are squared. So let's find the area of a triangle. The formula for the angle for the area of a triangle is one half base times the height. And the form there is no really there is no formula for the perimeter of a triangle. But in this case, we have an isosceles triangle, which means that you can just do two times the legs, which are eight, plus the base, which is four. However, that's not really applicable in all instances. Multiplication is commutative, so you can multiply four times six and get twenty-four, and then one and then have that to get twelve. Thanks for using Teach to Learn's homework helper. Have a great day.